Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we want to look at Ariana Grande. There is a video here on that channel and I will put the link down below in the comment section. I think a best high notes video. And yeah, so Ariana Grande is someone that sings a lot in mixed voice. There are some mixed voice exercises that I do sometimes in the videos. If you want to have a compilation of mixed voice exercises, let me know in the comment section. Diana Grande sings a lot in the upper registers, mixed voice, flageolet, then the whistle register. Um, I said a lot of stuff about flageolet and whistle register. If you master the flageolet register, then you are going to be flexible in all of the other registers. It's really that simple, right? That sometimes people feel a little bit like, mm, I don't want to go higher, that sound is uncomfortable, I don't know if my vocal folds can do that, can produce that sound. But most of the time, they can. If you don't have a problem with your vocal folds, if you don't have a distorted sound, if you're healthy with your vocal folds, surely you can work on your range, it's possible. So one of my exercises for flageolet is goo goo goo. Just try slowly but steady, go a little bit more higher. If you have the feeling that you're stuck on one note, then just try several times that one note and try to get through it and then make it just week by week, okay? Don't force yourself and don't strain or, you know, don't try to harm yourself. on and then you try to go higher. It's not about creating the best beautiful sound, it's about getting note by note, okay? Some exercises don't sound so pleasant at all, but that's not what it's about, yeah? Let's go. Morning, imagine, with a little help from the roots, please welcome Ariana Grande! Step up the two of us, nobody knows us, get in the car like a up all night, order me pad thai, let me go sleep till noon. Me with no makeup, you in the bathtub, bubbles and bubbly. Ooh, this is a pleasure, feel like we never like this regular. Click, 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 and post. Okay, go some really breathy into, into compressed. And that's also what we want. We want to have just a different stylistic choices within our phrases, within our singing. So we are able to play them around and be a little bit more flexible. So she sings a little bit more breathy and then she goes straight into that head voice where it's, yeah, where the sound is much more clearer. And try to not, if you sing home, right, and you are a beginner or, you know, try to not move that jaw, try to not sing from that jaw. It's not a, because if you do the riffs, like she does the riffs, she moves a lot her jaw. We don't want to move too much our jaw, you know, and get it out of place. We don't want to go like, oh, that was a little bit exaggerated and it was not on point, but it was just to show you to not get the chin out of the place. So when I continue, we're just gonna, you know, not make so many steps. So you see that she's raising a lot of her, of her neck, of her, yeah, of her neck. She raises a lot also the chin. And, you know, um, uh, we wanna try to have the larynx in a, in a normal position, right? And we don't wanna, of course, if you go in a high notes, different stylistics require different larynx position. I say this a lot of times. But sometimes when we go up too much, you know, we're gonna, we start to strain. Well, make, not her, right? Because she's not a beginner. But if you're a beginner, you know, or just in, in general, we wanna avoid those kind of very um, tense, tense, uh, tense movements. Oh! Well, it happens a lot of times. Just try, you know, to stay in that normal position. Um, yeah. So we don't wanna create any tension by moving around or making movement that create create tension that can cause you to strain by manipulating the larynx up high. Let's, let's continue. You see, true, she will act really...
beautiful hand voice. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, we have we had just to make one stop on the whistle note, right? <sighs> the whole whistle, the holy grail, right? And everyone, um, everyone wants to make those whistle notes. I mentioned it also a lot of times on the channel by Maurice Adamon. She sings also in Whistle by Mariah Carey. Well, that is your vocal folds. Let's make it like this. That is your vocal folds. And then the back of the vocal folds are open and the air is passing through. And one part is closed and on the other part the air is passing through. And that makes the whistle. It's not really the most healthiest because air is passing through they don't close 100% and we want to have all the time good vocal contact it's all about having a good vocal contact about really good vocal closure good vocal contact creates the best sound yeah that is the whole magic actually and then whistle notes is for a lot of singers very unsure to reproduce they are not really certain can they do it again or can they not do it again <laughs> so a lot of them are like oh I don't know if I can do it actually again well you can train it and of course you can train every area uh, with a lot of patience and you can go there yeah well it takes some time right well, she is, of course, wow, Ariana Grande is an amazing singer. All my students love Ariana Grande. So many years with Ariana Grande, all the songs here. If she's coming to Singapore, definitely we'll go there for a concert. Maybe I'll wrap up all my students and say, let's go, let's make a stage our studios going to Ariana Grande's concert. Stay in the aisle a little bit. Oh my man. gosh! Wow! Yeah. Ariana Grande! Oh, <laughs> imagine is out now! Yeah, she oh, is really fantastic. good. Fantastic! Uh -huh. uh, yeah, she is. Like, there is absolutely no doubt about um, how good she Yes, she's just amazing. Um, I'm so old. I'm feeling so old right now <laughs> because I am old. I am 30, but I'm feeling uh, that she's kind of the new Whitney Houston of that generation, you know, <clears throat> of the new generation. Don't want to, you know, I am old, old Whitney Houston, but for a lot of my students, that's their Whitney Houston because she's just able to access all the registers and then she blends in uh, fluently. But she is staying a lot of times in mixed voice and then in the upper registers. So I think Ariana Grande definitely hashtag weaponized her voice. She definitely kicks ass, is super strong. That's what it's all about. We want to have a really good weaponized voice where we can go in our daily life and then kick ass. It's not only becoming a really good singer, it's also becoming uh, very strong with your voice in your daily life and to project better and to speak up and learn to speak up for yourself and use your voice and singing lessons are the best for it. It's not only about all register practicing and mixed voice and flageolet and being a mezzo soprano but it's also about you know take those crafts into your daily life and then go and kick ass. Absolutely that's all about. So I'm also on Instagram. <laughs> you can connect with me on Instagram and if you haven't been out give it a thumbs up subscribe to that channel and I'm super happy happy wow I'm speaking so fast right now super happy to see my next video and I hope you enjoyed it, it was one of my favorite videos so far and mwah, big kisses to you from Singapore <laughs> <laughs>